Good morning from the christening cruise of the Disney Wish somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. I am Lou Mangiello. I'm incredibly excited and grateful and honored and appreciative of being able to be here and share with you a little bit of the christening voyage. It is our last day, sadly, and there's still so much to see and so much to do and so much that I haven't had a chance to even go and explore yet. There are literally decks and areas of the ship that I have not seen, so I figured what better way to go and enjoy it than to do it with you, my friend. If you're watching live or if you're watching on the replay, it doesn't matter. Please do me a favor, tag and invite a friend to come along and watch with us. And if you can, share this out on your profile or in your favorite group or page and invite some other folks to come along with us. Again, this is day three of the christening cruise. Uh, I have, was invited by Disney to come aboard um, and take part in not just the christening celebration, but this um, christening voyage, as it were, just for a few days. So I want to take you out with me. As you see, I am up on deck where I really haven't had a lot of opportunity to explore. And it's one of the things that I love about this ship is that it is so different. It's familiar, right, to the fantasy and the magic and the wonder and the dream, but it's so completely different in terms of layout, uh, the decks are, are all different, so things that you expect to see in a certain place might not necessarily be there, but I love the little places and spaces and nooks and crannies, and I thought it would be great if we went and enjoyed and explored them together. I am on what has to be deck 13 in the forward area of the ship. I'm going to take you through some of that forward area. We're going to make our way down deck 12 and uh, go out and enjoy some of the other outdoor areas uh, aboard the Disney Wish. So again, sit back, relax, uh, grab yourself a little tropical cocktail, and uh, let's go and explore. And if you have any questions, anything that you want to see or try and do, please let me know. So obviously, this ship is, is nowhere near full, so a lot of the areas that you see are probably not going to have a lot of people on them um, once the ship starts sailing on July 14th. That's obviously going to change. So this is one of the quiet adult areas on board. adults have their own pool area, their own wonderfully shaded area, um, which obviously quiet, subtle Disney music in the background. Let's see if I can do this without falling into the water. The ship feels, and I know that, and acknowledging that there's not really a lot of people on board, but it feels a lot bigger than the dream and the fantasy. And that's not in a bad way. It just feels wider and taller and more spacious. There's a lot of, obviously, there's, there's a lot of filming going on. Uh, this is a media crew, so we're not going to be able to access necessarily every space. And some places are going to be a little bit more difficult to traverse. Oh, no, that's a good idea. Yeah, Mickey, Mickey takes 
takes off his stickers before he goes into it. You gotta keep them safe. We're going to make our way downstairs. This is the funnel suite. I had a chance to uh, take a couple of tours of the funnel suite. I'll share a full video uh, later on with you on my reels and in the clubhouse. If you haven't been following along, I've been sharing most of what I've been doing on my Instagram stories and reels and posts. This is the Toy Story Splash Zone. And again, you'll see this throughout the decks. If they're using sort of a much more tiered, almost stadium style system to break up some of the areas. And you'll see too, there's a lot of little pools, right? So here's one, a little sort of splash pool, shallow area with um, waterfall. And this is specifically for kids. This is called Trixies. It is just for kids. So adults and kids have their own places and spaces, but there's also a ton of, like any Disney cruise, a number of locations where families can come together. One of the things I love about this play area, if you look very carefully, I'm not sure if you can see, these slides are made to look like they're inflatables and you almost want to go and sort of when i walked in earlier and almost want to sort of squeeze them because you think that they would be soft like an inflatable but they're not so little sort of details and touches that is the disney difference here's one of a couple of different slides it's a slide of source rex talk more about the aqua uh, sorry the aqua mouse as we get closer so I wanted here's a, a view of what I was referring to earlier about this sort of stadium type that's no other way for me to describe sort of stadium sort of style of breaking up deck 11 so there's a pool on the stage side which can be covered for stage shows and then they sort of use these tiered pool areas with a larger pool in the middle and there's actually five other pools, one, two, three, four, five pools total in this area. So instead of one giant large pool in the center, they're broken up into a couple of smaller pools and hot tubs, etc. I really, really like the choices that they made in terms of how they designed Deck 11 specifically. And it might be difficult for you to see on video and, and in the daytime, but this screen is magnificent. It is incredibly crisp and clear. It's like a super high definition TV with no pixelation at all. You can also see too, there are now three smaller screens down below, which they've used for still images, for videos. The pirate party last night was so much fun. Go back and check out my live video because for the first time ever, there was a live band. Uh, there was a live band uh, after some pre-show music for the fireworks that when I first heard about it, I'm like, how is this gonna work? It works really, really well. And it was a really nice change and sort of variation of what we see on the other ships. So I almost feel too, like there's a lot more seating on the ship, even with sort of this tiered breakup of the pools. 
you notice too, there's a waterfall flowing from one pool to the next on both sides. The center pool, the comfortable seating areas elsewhere, and then the other pool that they're maintaining right now. So there's also areas here. So yesterday there was um, chairs in here. So if you want to sit in the shade, there's a ton of shaded areas as well too, which especially in the daytime like today when it is just stifling hot outside, uh, having those areas in the shade, which again, they continue to improve and add upon from other ships is really nice. So there's a Donald, Daisy, Minnie, Pluto, and Goofy pool. So each has their own name. So it's easy to identify for family and friends what pool you're in. And you see, this is like a very shallow pool. This one's a little bit deeper. So I love the idea that families, no matter what age, can enjoy the pool areas together. And forgive me with the glare, I'm not able to see your comments, but I promise if you have a question or something, I'll make sure I try and go back or when I get inside, you can ask it again. So here, they have some chairs out here. So this is the entrance to the Aquamouse. They are doing some maintenance work on the Aquamouse right now, so it is down. So. Attention, please, for a safe flight. So while I have a spot in the shade, I did have a chance to ride the Aquamouse yesterday. I've got some video on, trust me, you don't want to see me on the Aquamouse. Uh, it's very different than any of the other attractions at sea. And I don't want to spoil too much, but there is sort of like a, a launch tube with screens and then some darkened areas. And it's almost like part attraction, part coaster, part water flume, and then you have that sort of grand reveal of amazing views. When I was when I rode it yesterday, uh, it was not fully functioning, meaning some of the special effects, and there are special effects that I found out take place into that initial launch area, were not working. So I do need to go back. I'm sorry, I'm walking again. I do need to go back and ride it again to give my full review. But I liked what um, I saw. It was very fun, it was very funny, and again, those views um, when you're up to out over the side of the ship are absolutely spectacular. Attention, please! For And the one thing about Disney Cruise Line that I love so much is it's so welcoming. They let literally 
anybody on board this ship. I mean, anybody can get on board, whether you like children or not. So it's interesting how, what? Do not look at your phone in your time. Why? We had a meeting. What time is it? It's like 11.30. No, it's not. It's like 10.45. I even said, oh. Oh, is it, can we still go? Let's, you know. go. So Let's, go. Let's move to where we're supposed to go. Thank you for being live. So I can find you on this ship. Oh. Okay, wait. Oh my god, it's so hot outside. Milk was a bad idea. So much fun. I lost yes. track of time. I couldn't, it was so bright outside, I couldn't see anything like popping up on messages. Oh my god, it's so hot. It is really warm. Thank you. We're going to go to the appointment together. We're going to what? Yeah. We're going to, well, I'm going to walk to the appointment yes. anyway. This is Joyful Sweets we ate here last night. Oh my god, so, so good. good. Bubblegum so ice cream. Bubblegum. It's awesome. <laughs> Marceline Market is sort of the quote unquote the new cabanas. <laughs> so, I'm so hot. Like, not in a wow, you're attractive kind of way. No, I mean like sweltering. I might even go in the pool today. No. You in the pool? Probably not. But I have a I have a giant swimmy shirt, so I don't have to scare any of the women or children. <laughs> You haven't even eaten lunch yet, right? Uh, lunch? Lunch. No, isn't it like 10, 15? <sighs> he doesn't know we, we had to change. <laughs> we had to change spots. <laughs> okay. But now I'm turned around. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's the hard part about this yeah. is that we know the ship so well. It's We're all doing that. You know we look going. left and then we end up going yes. right. Which is refreshing. Because now uh, you have this new atmosphere and this, you know, new locations to bump into. Did you say refreshment or did you say refreshing? I said refreshing. Yeah. Kind of spot. This is probably a good place to say. Yes. And I will. So here's one more look at. This is the grand hall. It's not the atrium. It's very different. And I'm going to share some content I was gathering this morning. I've been, uh, I've been going and gathering content and doing interviews since early this morning. And you'll find out why this is called the Grand Hall, as opposed to the HM, which is called on other ships. So um, that was our somewhat abbreviated, had incredibly toasty uh, journey outside on the decks of the Wish. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to try and go live again later on. Please be sure to follow along my Instagram stories and some reels. It's really where I sh I'm sharing things as they happen, um, real time almost, on the wish. So thank you. I love you. I wish you were here. See ya. Later too.